Hi guys, I'm Sajid here. So I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna study Java arrays. So right, so let's start. As you know, uh, you studied variables a long time ago, like at the start of this uh, video series. Uh, there was a chapter where we studied uh, variables which are used to store vari values. So one variable could store one uh, value. So, but if you suppose if you have many values, then it means you will have to make many uh, variables. So in Java, uh, we have a method to, uh, we have a way to do this task easy. So how we do that, like we have arrays, where uh, rather than declaring separate variables, we declare one variable and we can store many values in it so let's look at here uh, look at this uh, one uh, array here we have a string and let's uh, just forget for a second these uh, square brackets here string cars it, it was a normal variable but now if we put two uh, if we put this square bracket here in the brackets here this become an array now we can store many values in it how to store so uh, there is a way there's a proper syntax for this so we use uh, uh, curly braces and inside the curly braces we put all our values in the form of a list and uh, because this is uh, uh, this is a, uh, this is an array based on strings so we are storing strings with the uh, um uh, these uh, quotes here so uh, this array contains one two four four uh, values in it and similarly not only you can define arrays for uh, strings you can do it for other type other data types for example for here you have integer and my number and uh, you are making an array of um, integer so this was uh, uh, how to define arrays so now we tell you how to access the elements of an array so guys to access an element you know there are uh, there are like uh, one a proper scheme for that which is called like index numbers so each element has one you can say index number associated with it and it starts with zero so here the volvo is at index zero bmw is at one ford is th uh, at two and this master at uh, zero one two three three so every value has uh, one index number and we can access the value uh, in the array any value in the array with its index number so let's look at this example here so guys uh, in our example see we have one array called uh, cards which has four values and i want to access uh, f uh, value at index zero and i want to print it so what's we going to do system dot out dot print line cards zero so it will print volvo let's suppose uh, i want to uh, access element at index 2 so what will be the answer it should be uh, 0 1 2 4 right so let's uh, run our code and see what happened yeah 4 4 is the right answer so but uh, what will happen if we uh, try to access some um, uh, index number which doesn't exist so see here it is up to 3 and if I want to access 5 it will give error it will give an in, uh, index out of bound exception I believe so you see here so it exception in thread main java dot lang dot array index out of bound exception so index 5 out of bounds for length 4 yeah so this element had this array had only four elements and there is no fifth element so that's why 
Uh, fifth will be uh, it, it doesn't have more than four elements so there is no fifth index uh, uh, ex uh, existing in it so that's why we got this exception right guys so i hope this is clear to you and then we see how to change uh, any value of um, uh, any value of any specific index or element uh, in the array okay so in this example you see we have four uh, we have our old array with uh, four car models there called brands there so now at array uh, at index 0 this element which is Volvo I want to change it with Opel so system dot print line car 0 now the Opel will replace Volvo and when I print this one it will print Opel and now let's suppose I change it with um, Kia for example now let's see okay yeah uh, yeah see here the value at index 0 has changed okay if I change this one with the other index for example if I change 2 with the 2 so 0 1 to 4 will be replaced with Kia now okay that's right that's right so this is how uh, we can change uh, value in uh, array of certain like uh, element so next uh, you know this very useful uh, and uh, uh, thing called like do you know the length of the array and uh, for this one we use a length property so this uh, you have to use again and again uh, or you will be using it frequently in coding uh, whenever like for example you have to know the length of the array so this is say very simple you just say cars dot length and it will give you length of this array so here we have four numbers it shows four let's say uh, i add and other uh, uh, number of values there for example Toyota and maybe Lexus okay so I have added some more <laughs> elements in the array now we have the one two three four five six seven elements in it so let's run the code see the answer is seven so we have added another um uh, well we added more uh, element in it and uh, it has counted the length of the array and uh, now we have seven elements in it right so that's all about arrays uh, now you have seen and learned uh, what the arrays are in this chapter and how to use them how to print or access their values and how to change any value any element and uh, find out the length of the array so these were uh, uh, different thing different um, you can say uh, things you have learned in this chapter uh, i'll be back with an other video very soon i hope this has been informative for you so if it's been please share with your friends and other colleagues so that others can also learn and take benefit from this video series so guys i'll be back take care bye bye